Hey guys, it's Shane here. Uh, today I have a gig to go to um, down near Oberon. It's a wedding, and I thought I'd film um, some of the trip and the gig, and just to give you an insight on what it's like being a muso. And we'll take a look at what I do and um, see for yourself. So here we go. Here's a map of the route that I'll be taking to Waldara Farm today. I'll be starting off from Cowra, obviously, and heading to Bathurst, and then down to Oberon, and just south of Oberon is our lovely venue. I haven't been there before, and I'm looking forward to um, checking it out. Let's get to it. Okay, the ceremony's over. I haven't finished setting up yet because uh, I had to provide music for the ceremony itself. And so I'm gonna get into finishing this setup now, which is only about half done. So I'll get into it. Here's the uh, setup that I'll be using tonight. I've got our speakers set up there, QSC K12s. Let's take a look at our lighting. I've got uh, some moonflower type LEDs set up in front of me on the floor pointing up at the roof and then we look up to the top we've got uh, two LED bars with four lights on each bar connected DMX and then we have two LED cans behind me on the floor pointing up. I've also got a haze machine ready to go set a decent smoke output Looking down onto the floor in front, I've got my Roland stomp box that I use for my kick. And then we have a tuner, compressor, EQ, and a bit of delay for my acoustic guitar, which runs into the Soundcraft uh, mixer that I control with my iPad. I also use uh, OnSong to do my lyrics. I sing through an SM58 microphone. Um, all my gear packs into that container right there. And last of all, I've got my guitar, which is a Mini Maiden Lefty. That I use for all my acoustic gigs. And that's our complete setup.
set up. Uh, got some background music going for the guests at the canapes. So when uh, the guests start to come in to the reception, um, that will be when I bring my speaker back into place where it's meant to be and plug my other one, daisy chain the other one into it. And then I should be right to do the intro music for the bride and groom and the bridal party upon entry into the venue. Dinner will be served, and speeches will happen and whatnot, the usual wedding stuff. And eventually we'll have the bridal dance, which they've selected a song to be played on the iPad. And then uh, once that's done, I start playing and I'll do my three hours, a couple of breaks in the middle. Um, and we'll finish probably between 10, 30 and 11, depending on um, how late the speeches go and whatnot. Weddings don't usually run on time. And uh, I'll try and get some footage of the playing during the night. We'll see how we go. Um, add it in as well and then we'll do some packing up and heading home. Okay, so it's 11.30, I've got all my gear packed pretty much inside. I'm in my car waiting for a bus to move so I can get my car into the loadout point. Um, so once the buses leave, then I'll um, be able to get the car in and then load it up and then I'll be on my way home. Hopefully within the next half hour. Okay, that's it. A bit wet, <laughs> but I'm... Um, but I'm all packed up and ready to go home. So I've just got a, about a two and a quarter, two hour, 20 minute drive ahead of me, um, which should put me home around two in the morning, I reckon, if I don't hit a kangaroo on the way. We are near Oberon after all, but let's uh, give it a go. <laughs> 